Hello, fellow engineers, and welcome to Sebel Engineering. Now, as it says on the Steam page, this is a realistic civil engineering simulator. And you may remember, I played this on itch.io, but now it's on Steam. I hear there's plenty of new levels. The font still hasn't changed. Everything else is still coming soon as well. But at least we can click play. All right, so basically, this game, because it's a realistic civil engineering simulator, basically, we've just got to fix roads. Now, we've got a few tools down here. We've got this thing, which we can, like, raise the ground with, and look. Ooh, it changes where the cars go. Uh, we've also got this, a shotgun, to explode them out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> so far, very close to being realistic civil engineer simulator. But we also have one of these, which you may have seen in like real life. Uh, it's called a total station. And basically, you put this down and then you totally become an engineer because like, well, it, lo it looks like you know what you're doing. Like if, if someone walks past and sees you here, they're like, oh, that guy's an engineer. Better, better steer clear. By the way, up there, they're the, <laughs> they're the menu icons, which I can still select from down here. Uh, although it's slightly dangerous. Apparently that killed me. Anyway, what we need to do, we need to slightly adjust the road so that the cars end up in the green thing. So I reckon if we bring these down and up a bit like that, then cars, yes, they are finally passing through. However, you can see in the top right, my budget was 100 quid. I've spent 120. So how can we do this for cheaper? I'm thinking if I raise that and yeah the cars are coming down here and completely falling to their doom why can't you be more like that guy's car <laughs> i love that the dev just has been like yeah i'm not putting textures everywhere <laughs> the game was fine <laughs> but right with a small bit of tweaking i've done it for 90 quid lovely and look we can watch someone driving in truly realistic graphics <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, actually, it is realistic because we're making we're making the cars move so they don't have to turn the steering wheel, which ironically is actually what you want to try and do with roads in real life. If you're ever like on like a fast road and like say there's a bend, have a look at what the actual road slope is doing. It's probably leaning like towards the bend that you're taking. So if you're turning right, the road probably leans to the right. Uh, that is actually to help you take the take the corner without having to turn that wheel too much. So realistic. All right, so then we're back at our desk. We can go select the next level. Uh, just ignore the stuff in the background. That's just what working in a civil engineering office is like. You probably have a window seat. You have to try not to get distracted by what's happening in the background. You've got to focus on your work. Focus on that American dream, which the mouse reminds you of every single day of your life. All right, so with this one, unfortunately, architects were hired to create create a mall. Yeah, and as you can see, they slightly messed up the, the entrance. Us civil engineers, we got to come along and try and fix this. The approach speed to the mall is probably causing slight issues as well. <laughs> Look how fast they're going. But yeah, right. So what do I have to work with? I reckon let's bring that up. What's that? That's half my budget gone. Oh my goodness. All right. So let's do the same on this side. All right. I'm not going to lie. I thought that would work, but... Uh, Still some slight issues. All right, so instead then, what if we try and raise up these out? <laughs> I was gonna say these nodes. Oh look, I can still I can still fix it while I'm here. I can I can raise that node up. Is that gonna pass the level? No, don't think so. Right, anyway, let's lower that. So I <laughs> look at the cards. <laughs> but yeah, I just want these slightly raise. Yeah, I can see the problem here. We're, we're going over the mall, not into the mall. Oh, and that really, really has, has not fixed it either. <laughs> yeah, let me just shotgun some of those out of the way. Shotgun all of these. Shotgun the ones up there as well. You're getting in the way. All right, what if I raise it back here-ish? Oh, look, we got some in. We got some in. Yes, three, four. Yeah, let me go. Let me go have a closer look. Let me see how this is working. I gotta gotta be careful here. It's pretty dangerous. If I just get my shotgun out and then just slightly explode the ones that are getting in the way. Yes, we've done it. Ten out of ten. All right, so action replay. Oh my goodness, there's so much speed. And then this one does not make it. Oh, but this one, this one does. Yes. Oh, this one doesn't. Anyway, we made we made like over a hundred quid profit there. And you can see in the top right, that just goes in our back pocket because that is how engineering works. Cheap out, you will be rewarded. So this next level, people have been complaining about this fuck up road for over a decade now. It's always been a problem, but last night some dipshit had his hypercar on autopilot and he flew off the road and exploded in a gigantic fireball. I think you can still see some of the wreckage over there. The governor is very upset about this. We need to fix this quick. Just take some measurements and flatten this shit out. As explained by our little guide there, yeah, this road a little bit bumpy. Someone over this way, they had one of those fancy new... <laughs> one of those fancy new Teslas, the Cyber 
dome or I don't know, whatever it's called. But yeah, they, they crashed it because it was in autopilot. So what we got to do, we got to try and fix this. And Oh, look, we got some drainage going on. So, oh, look, I'm swimming through it. There's a fish. Is that a fish? One of those other types of fish that you always see in UK rivers. But yeah, this is called a culvert. And basically, it's how you get like water courses, like streams and rivers across roads. You literally just wang them in a pipe, build the road on top. And as long as your road is built correctly, jobs are good. And however, this one isn't. So we're going to have to do a little bit of tweaking. So couple of tweaks like that and then we are off that direction i might raise that corner and then oh it's close it is close to working if i raise that one as well I, i've spent over the budget now all right instead then let's look at this i reckon the cheapest way to make the start work is probably just lower that side yeah so that's 30 quid that's pretty good i probably oh do i need to raise that or can i just raise if i raise that yeah we might be able to get over there right let's just cross this log that's not a bridge it's just a log trust me i'm an engineer i know this stuff all right no that has that has not worked trying to get this for under budget is hard work i need to make profit i've got a dog to feed all right what if i just raise that a bit car going straight car going straight car oh not quite going straight i've only got 10 quid what if i lower that corner oh not quite what if i raise this one so it should head to the right no still too much ow <laughs> <laughs> I was tweaking and I didn't pay attention to the cars. I got killed. Right, I'm going to attempt to do this from this angle because it's, it's too dangerous down there. Although it's more realistic to be first person, I keep getting mullered. So I think what I want to do, I want to try and bounce the cars to the very left. Oh, that's looking good, actually. Along that ridge. Then if that one was higher, I bounce it back to the... No, this one's like jumping. So let's lower that back down. Let's raise that one instead. Right, okay. I've got cars to the end, but we're over budget, which means it's coming out of my back pocket, which which means I'm not having that. Boosh. No, you don't. Do not finish this level, whatever you do. Boosh. Okay, from here, can I lower that side, perhaps? No, because then they just hit the pipe. Right, screw this. i got to get my engineering head back on. We've got to go first person again. Use the old total station. Looking at that, it's not actually a total station, but shut up. Oh, wow, look, there's a tree house. I found a tree house. How random. They put the effort into modeling a random tree house that's hidden behind, like... <laughs> <laughs> These very realistic looking trees. That is the way of engineering though. Just because you can see it doesn't mean it's had more effort than the things you can't see. I spent 10 years of my life doing drainage and people only know about it if you're messed up. All right, anyway, raise that side. So we head over there then perhaps lower this one. Maybe I need to embrace the bumpiness. That's 90 quid gone. Where are we ending up now? So we're heading over this way. I got 10 quid. I don't think doing that is going to save us. What is that car doing over there? You're right there, mate. <laughs> oh, is that a no? Are you shaking your head? Can I, like, jump on you? Oh, I can. You're not that dangerous. Oh, I can push you around. I can get revenge on all the times these guys have killed me. Yeah, see you later, mate. Right, okay. I've spent 80 quid. We're actually getting pretty straight. Oh, my goodness. I felt we've just got a last little tweak to do. So, I reckon if I lower that one, maybe twice... Yes, that, that counts. That counts. Just ignore they fall to their doom. But we have finally fixed this road within budget. I think you can see why there's so many potholes in roads now. Budgets are tight when you're working on the roads. But that is the final car. 10 out of 10. Let's see what an enjoyable experience they have driving down this road. No one will ever crash again. This team will never lose again. Until they get to the end of the map. All right, this time we've been hired by a large corporation, Pizza Hut. That's definitely original and not a ripoff of anything else. And apparently they've had trouble getting customers to their store. Doors. Now, you might think, well, that's the this large tear in reality, like between the road and, and the parking spaces. But no, it's actually because their sign fell down and crushed some cars. So if we just head up here, you can get a bird's eye impression of the actual issue. So what we want to do, we want to create a jump. Well, and a landing, actually. So let's raise that and raise that a little bit. We do want to try and use this sign out. But right, with 85 quid spent, this is... <laughs> This is where the cars end up. Now, I can't actually tweak these. These aren't road. As a civil engineer, I only have I only have the rights to fiddle with the road. I can't fiddle with grass and stuff. So we need some sort of deflection here. So let's raise that up. All right, so I've spent 190 quid getting it to this point. So basically, cars are sliding along their sides here, which means I can probably just like raise 
Raise that a little bit. And then that is perfect. <laughs> An absolutely perfect road. So drive up, hit the sign, slide down there along the side, looking at those beautiful textures the whole time. I will say I've only been playing for like 30 minutes. I've already made 245 quid. That is not realistic to how much an engineer gets paid, by the way. Otherwise, I would not be doing YouTube. I'll tell you that. All right, so this level is called Sewer Pipe. We've got a budget of 500. And oh, yes, I see the problem. This problem has become a giant pain in the ass, and I hope you can find a judicious solution. So yeah, basically, like the like the engineering firm I worked for, there's multiple disciplines all trying to work together. None of them actually talk to each other, which means the drainage is higher than the road. The fence is too high as well. So we got to try and, uh, and get under that fence, which I think I've achieved. But we've also got to get over this poo pipe. Now, I swear our budget was 500 quid. Somehow, someone's nicked the budget. It's gone down to 400 quid. Now we're actually in the level. But right, if they take a run up... Oh, they don't quite make it. Like, if I don't explode these out of, out of existence, they cause a traffic jam and everyone... Oh, it's not good. It's not good. Now, I don't think that's helped by the fact that this road is... Probably a bit too steep. You can see cars struggling to get up. If we watch this one, he's like, not quite. So if I like lower one side a little bit. Yeah, you can see, oh, they can't quite make it up. Okay, can we lower those a bit? Yes. Yes. Oh, is that? Oh, we've only gone and done it. We have only gone and done it. This is why if you want a job done yourself, do it yourself. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the saying. Anyway, it looks like we've got our first intersection to deal with. All right, so this is a life lesson as to why we have either traffic lights or like road markings and signs. Because if you don't give way and let other people go and you all just try and go at once, you will never reach your destination ever. Oh, no, look. There's a lost dog. All right, I'm going on a hunt for the lost dog. It's more important than building roads. All right, Mr. Dog, are you up here anywhere? Get paid to whack off. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was literally the advertisement I got all my editors from. All right, well, unless the dog is up in the menu, I don't actually see where the dog is. No, actually, what is... What's that over there? Ow! Is that dangerous to stand there? No, I reckon stand here. It's probably fine. Yeah, what is that? I don't know. There's another one over there as well. All right, anyway, hardcore engineering. I reckon we make... If I just stand here, can I make the cars... Oh, there's only a node at the end. There isn't a middle node. Well, we got to make the cars jump over the buses, I reckon. So that's pretty good actually i've then just got to make the buses yeah if i do a bit of that the buses oh they're now making it sweet make the jump a little bit higher by doing that oh look at that is sick <laughs> oh that's so good all right so then just lower that a bit and then the buses go that way and look we did it under budget beautiful by the way check out the bus eye view <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. All right, so now on our level map, we've got to the point where we can we can branch off. We can choose our own adventure. So do we want to go to Crossroads, which will lead us to Bingy Street and Diner Detour? Or do I want to do the Dirt Hill where we can potentially get to a bridge? <gasps> dirt Hill. All right, so on this one, let's get my total station set up there. All right, okay. I think I see the problem here. Cars are crashing straight into this old bunker. So we raise that up a bit. Ow. But yeah, you're probably meant to spend time like trying to make the cars follow the road and stuff. But honestly, I reckon just keep raising this until hopefully our cars will land where they're meant to go. All right, well, they're definitely ignoring the signs. So I can see why we're not just putting signs in. We got to do this ourselves. But right, how is that? I've just noticed as well. The uh, the text on there, it's like it mirrors depending what way around, like it's backwards. <laughs> but yeah, oh, look at this is working perfectly. Boosh front flip. Oh, we get front flip for style points as well. All right, we're getting closer to the bridge. So this one, we got a landslide. But after dispatching surveyors with cutting edge laser guided measurement tools, we still have no idea what's wrong. Can you please do something to satisfy these people? That definitely sounds like the average council as well. Spend loads of money investigating and still have no idea what's going on. All right, we gotta, we gotta raise that. Oh, have I done it first time? No, I haven't. What if I raise that one? Oh, no, they're going. They're definitely going the wrong direction. What if I lower that one and that one and that one? All right. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. I want to get a nice view like from, from down here. Total station looking up. Oh, yes. That is how we fix roads around here, boys. So yeah, instant replay. You can't even see that there's been a landslide. Like literally, 
I'm a genius. So the next level is reverse landslide. The committee has reviewed your work on the landslide and are satisfied with the results. Oh, good. With this newfound clarity, they have decided it would be optimal to reverse the direction of this road. Okay, so we just got to reverse what we did last time. Trouble is, we don't have the speed this time. All right, okay, having a look through the surveying equipment, I think I see the problem. I think I just got to, yeah, let's lower that bit and ow. And then, oh, we're pretty close. If I then just, if I raise that up and lower that, yes. Oh, we did it. We actually did it, did we? Nice. Hang on. I heard I hear a dog barking. Maybe there's maybe there's a dog through here. No, I don't see it. I don't see it. By the way, <laughs> by the way, I've just realized this texture is like probably just Google Maps. I note, developer, you changed the, the cyber truck to a cyber something you made up. Probably for legal reasons. Uh, I haven't changed the Google the Google satellite image. So <laughs> Sorry for pointing that out. Right, anyway, we made 60 quid profit there. But most importantly, we unlocked our first bridge of the game. All right, hang on. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. So, yes, people are trying to get to the bridge, but... I'm sorry, that is not a bridge. Hang on, let me jump down here. Let me have a better look. That is not a bridge. That's a dam. All right, this is going to be a low score. I am sorry, developer. Can I? Oh, I can't go in the water. That's good to note. But uh, we need a bridge review. It's not a bridge. The name of this section is bridge review, not dam review. If it was a dam, it would probably get a solid like seven or eight out of ten. But it's not. Upon surveying this, I can definitely tell this is this is a dam. It's not a bridge. So therefore, I give this bridge a 0.1 out of 10. 10 bridge review. All right, and anyway, I gotta I gotta try and fix this. So do I raise the outer edge or lower the inner edge? Ooh, ooh, lowering seems to work quite well, actually. So then I can raise that one, perhaps. And then, ah, blew it out. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Right, so it seems like the vehicles can't quite make it up here. So maybe now I wanna like lower both of those a bit. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good. And this is exactly how we build roads in real life, by the way. We do just we get out there with our hammer, with our wrench. We just raise and lower as we go, as the traffic flies across. That's why working as a civil engineer is one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. Anyway, right. Oh no, those cars are coming towards me. Ow, ow. <laughs> Okay, what's happening? What's happening? Our car's actually making it. Let me get my let me get my shotgun out. Just make some make some room. All right, here we go. Here we go. So completely clear path. So buses, ooh, nearly make it. If I just raise that back bit like that. Yes. Okay, the bus made it. Some of the buses made it. <laughs> I think I just need to explode like any cars that try and ruin everything. Oh no, the buses are ruining everything now. I mean, it's sort of working. But it could it could definitely be better. And I oh I can't actually raise the dam piece. I mean the, the bridge. The bridge. It's definitely a bridge. Which is quite annoying. I could probably raise that. Maybe lower that one. I'd like to get to a point where I don't actually have to like destroy all the vehicles. But I will see how it goes out. I mean, I've still got a lot of budget. I've got 250 quid left. So I'm not gonna panic yet. And some of the vehicles are actually oh, they're actually making it through like everything almost. And that car straight through both. I just got to get consistent enough that these numbers stay up. Can you see they drop over time? And what if I just destroy every car? Do the buses make it? They seem to make the first one, but not the second one. If that first one goes up to 10, then I can do it just making buses make it. All right. Okay, it gets to 10. It does get to 10. I've then just got to make sure the back one gets hit. So in order to do that, let's get my total station out. What we got to what we got to do here then? So perhaps raise that a little bit out more. All right. So buses, yes, I think they're now hitting both. So the front one's on 10. The rear one is up to Four. And this definitely counts as engineering, by the way. This is pretty realistic because it's, ba it's, it's basically a metaphor for creating a bus lane. By creating bus lane, you are shotgunning the road space for cars. So if you try and drive a car through like a city center, you may as well just get a shotgun to the face. That is the metaphor of civil engineering in the modern world. Right, but anyway, one more and we've done it. Come on, we're on nine. Yes, 10. There it is. <laughs> Only took seven minutes. So let's see what our bus journey is like. There's... Ooh, how did that car stay there? I thought I shotgunned you out the way. Anyway, we make the journey and then we we celebrate by going the fast route to town. All right, so this one, we're actually doing some like realistic engineering. Basically, as I sort of touched on before, this is this is called super elevation. And basically, you just bury cars. Like if there's a parked car, you just bury it in, in road. But you basically just make like, yeah, yeah, let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that. You basically just make like a NASCAR sort of corner. And that guides the cars around. And this is... 
literally, if you like, go go like go to a motorway or something. Uh, don't get out of your car. Stay in the car. But have a look at like any sharpish bends you can see on a motorway, and I guarantee you they will have this sort of fall on it. Well, maybe maybe not this steep. Why are there cars parked over there? I don't understand this game. Oh, and I just spent double the budget, which means if I go back, yeah, I'm only I've only got 200 quid profit now. Right, we gotta we gotta redo this one. I reckon. Deep up one of the first... Oh, they're just going straight. Yeah, they're just going straight. We can't have that. We can't have that. All right, so I've spent 190 quid making this this sort of ramp. We then go up over, <laughs> over that car, and then we get a little bit stuck on this corner. So what I'm thinking... Do I raise this up, or do I lower it? Oh, I was just about to shotgun that car out the way, but... I Ow! <laughs> But he shotgunned me first. Yeah, because that is, that's not ideal, actually. So what if I, I mean, we're so close to making it. What if I just raise that a bit just to deflect them that direction? Oh, that's looking good. That's actually, that's pretty decent. If I just, if I just raise that, then yes, that is perfect. That is perfect engineering. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. We made some fat cash that time. Which leads us to the last level along this route anyway. Farm Road. Alright, so looking down the total station, we've got we got a farm road. So I reckon raise out. <laughs> raise those two. This truck should make it through now. Okay, that's good. All we've got to do now is get these cars up over there. So I've done a little bit of tweaking. Oh, and it's, it's nearly working. Look how close we are to making it. Some of them do make it. <laughs> I'm so much better engineering than I give myself credit for. All right, so on this level, there's proper there's proper engineering going on. We've got a steamroller here. We've got like a digger dumper thing over this way. Uh, and we, we have a floating church that we <laughs> we need to drive over. Let's see where, where we actually got to get to. So cars go there. Oh, they got to land on this road and go that way. Oh, boy. Okay. Um. So the cars are up there. Oh, ow. Yeah, the cars are driving up the church. Not ideal. We've got to get them over and then down that way. Okay. I guess to start, I'll stay in my my, my safe habitat. I'm, I'm used to this. I'm not really used to what's happened over there. But if we do that, yeah, that should allow us to drive over the church, hopefully. Okay, they're going over. They're going over. That's good. That is good. So where... <laughs> this game is mental. So where are they landing? They're landing... Well, they're, they're very much not landing. Uh, so I'm not too sure what I can do about that, apart from change the change the ramp a bit. What if I just raise these slightly? Maybe we need to do a jump without actually touching the roof too much. Oh, yes, look at that. Look at that. Right, can I get my, my total station on the roof? Yes, I can, but I fell off it. No, help me. <laughs> Infinite loop. Oh, no. But yeah, from down here, you can see, look at the corkscrew these cars are doing. So they're landing there-ish. So potentially, if I... If I just come up this way and raise this, then... Oh, yeah, that is engineering. That is out engineering. All right, so now they're landing on this. They're out. <laughs> they're sliding down through the gate. And that is how you safely get people to attend church. So for the replay, jump over the church, do a corkscrew, land down the side. Love it. Anyway, as we look over the, the Moke shop over there, uh, let's just reflect on what a lovely journey we had. Building roads, being a civil engineer. Man, there's... There's actually loads of levels on this. But <laughs> look at that truck in the background. No, I'm not looking in the background. I'm doing my work. I'm looking at the computer. But yeah, if you want to see more of this, boost the like button. Let me know in the comments. If you did watch the previous series on this, maybe I'll try and avoid like the, the old levels that I've played. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments. For now, I'll say peace, love, and civil engineering. Bye, guys.